Here we have a head of cabbage. Let's ferment it. Keep in mind Captain James Cook, the 18th century English explorer, took 60 barrels of cabbage around the world in 1770 and he did not lose a single sailor to scurvy because of the vitamin and mineral and enzyme benefits of these fermented foods. They've lasted for thousands of years, the recipes, because they are so excellent. Here I am cutting up cabbage as finely as possible. I'm also going to grade part of the cabbage because I want juices to come out of the cabbage. As an option, you could add some diced carrots, and this is good for a sauerkraut recipe. You could let it all ferment together. Add some pure salt to this. Make sure the salt does not have iodine or caking agents in it. And taste it to see if you like it at this salt consistency. Also, the stem of the cabbage, don't throw it out. We throw too many things out. Uh, keep it for soup. Now mix this and try to squeeze the juice out of this cabbage and let it sit for a few hours. You can also pound it down. This will get the juice out of the cabbage. And if you have a food processor, you can use it. I didn't use it just to show you that you could still make fermented cabbage without a food processor. Here we have it after a few hours. There is a lot of liquid from the cabbage. And what you want to do now is you want to put a plate over it with weights and let it ferment for three days. If you put it in jars now, you're going to have to burp it, which means undoing the um, jar, a lid, so it has a pressure release on it. It does have a smell to it as it's fer fermenting, so what you can do is put plastic on it so your family doesn't complain. Okay, it's been three days, so let me take the weight off the cabbage and let me remove the plate. You could eat it now, but what I'm doing is uh, I'm putting it in uh, jars and I'm really squishing it down. And here I put a cabbage leaf on top to keep it submerged in the liquid because if you don't, it could develop mold on the top. Now, if it does, just throw that mold out, but bacteria and mold don't, do not grow in this salty solution, so it's safe to eat. Here's our end result, a fermented superfood, and it helps with gut health. You know, gut health now is uh, considered, the gut is considered now the second brain. There's research done on it, and we need to put healthy enzymes in vitamin B and vitamin C. This helps uh, with to reduce cravings for alcohol, sugar, and drugs, and that needs to be addressed, and that we're not hearing enough information on uh, help with addictions. And also, Google the benefits of fermented foods. You'd be really surprised. And although you're eating organic, unless you incorporate a fermented food, you are not eating healthy. So go ahead and enjoy.